Hi guys, and happy third week of February. So is anybody else feeling like their house is like somewhere in between winter and last March? <laughs> and I don't know what kind of dirt that is, but I think it's going to start growing and talking soon and probably be like cute bunnies and all like in Sims when they get their houses get dirty and they're their dirt turns into cute bunnies. That's how dirty it's gotten up there in the last two windstorms. Like, I swear that dirt is going to just form something. And I need, <laughs> I need some organization. <laughs> it's everything. I just got these guys. They're so super cute. Um, I just got that. Uh, but everything's just all mixed up and not, there's no <laughs> rhyme or reason to anything. And, you know, I love everything. I love all my stuff, uh, my twinkle lights and whatnot. But it's all just kind of like that plant's been sitting there since I built this camper. Like, what, two years ago now? So, um, <laughs> I just need something. It needs something. Okay, I'm going to get up there, take everything down, take everything down out of the windows, clean, dust, start from the top, work my way down, and see if I can't, uh, I don't know, add a little bit of spring in this. Let's see what we can do. And so I was able to just wipe down the entire area up here with just plain warm water on a washcloth. Um, that's the way I constructed it when I made this. I wanted to be able to just wipe all of that down and not have to worry about harming any kind of um, expensive materials. Uh, and that's just a vinyl, flexible vinyl, like you would use in your shower stall. Um, and then after I wipe it down clean, then I spray it with uh, essential oil and water, which I use this on everything. Uh, right now I'm using lavender uh, essential oil and water. Uh, I use it in my hair and on my bed and on my sweaters when I feel staticky. And it just gives the house a nice clean uh, cleansing type feel to it. And then to charge things, I will use, depending on if I like the way things are going in my home right now, I'll do a final wipe down with Our Lady Full Moon Water and charge things to continue in the same direction. Or if I want something to change in the way that my home is going right now, I'll wipe this area down with Our Lady Dark Moon Charged Water, New Moon Water. All right, so Cleo got a fresh, clean towel, and we basically, we leave Cleo alone. She's not exactly a loving lovebird, so she just gets a clean towel on her little spot, and then I can't do anything about these terrible cobwebs until uh, the spring when I can crank the windows open and go up in here and get rid of the cobwebs, but uh, I'm trying to figure out where I want all of my stained glass. All right, so uh, through the winter, as you can see, my um, caulking that I did, uh, my sealant, has shrunk. And so I've got this terrible crack right through here, and I think it's quite ugly. And I thought, well, I got these little daisies for a dollar. It doesn't that brighten that spot up. I think if I like it, I might put um, little bits of Velcro across there and just change out flowers and things every now and then up there uh, and just keep that where I can change it out. But for now, I'm just probably gonna use like duct tape or something because I don't wanna staple in case I don't like the way it looks. And I just wanna go over and just re it and just make it look neat again. We'll see. So I've been using these for a while in the camper and I gotta say, I really like these. The Swiffer Dusters with Febreze Lavender. I just like the way my house smells after I use it. I love the way they pick up dirt. <laughs> Do you guys use these too? I love them. All right, so the daisies are up. So I decided to just go with the duct tape. I don't think it's really gonna show that much. And I don't think I'm gonna do the Velcro thing because um, if I decided to put flowers up there again, would I want the same amount of flowers in the same space? I don't know. So anything I take down and duct tape damages, I will just fix it. And I do like the leaves too, so I think I'm gonna pop the leaves up under there too for a little bit more color. All right, I think this looks lighter and brighter now. Let me know what y'all think.
I like the daisies. I thought they came out kind of cute up underneath there. They give it sort of a spring feel. Uh, I also took my shears and sort of, well, wire cutters, and sort of thinned that ivy, whatever that stuff is. I thinned that out a little bit because it was kind of, I'm almost kind of tired of looking at it. My feather collections, um, they just stay back there because there's really nowhere else for them to go. Uh, two boxes, the mobile altar and the uh, feather and charm box. My weather vane that always stays right in the center, always front and center. Uh, birthday candles from last year, because why not? The beautiful Canadian amethyst that my friend Diane sent me. I wanted it to be up here out of the sunlight because she said um, not too much sunlight on your crystals because that will change the color. And so I don't want to change that gorgeous color. So they're going up there out of the sunlight. And then down here, down below, uh, the sun catchers. So I thought they came out kind of cute. Um, I like the uh, I like the new guys. Those peacocks, they were $5 from Dollar General. Of course, at the end of the season, if there were any left, I got the last two uh, at my Dollar General, but they'll be like a dollar at the end of the season. And then a mirror for reflection. Uh, just some spring-looking stuff down here. Remember that topper from my Yule tree? Brought that in. That beautiful 60s candle. Thought that was kind of cool. And then from my oldest daughter. She's always giving me <laughs> such fun little gifts. And then the other window. I think looks a little more organized now. And if you're wondering why the sun catchers, uh, one, I just love them. I think they're beautiful. I always wanted sun catchers here instead of curtains. I will never have curtains in these big, beautiful windows. And two, I have to have something in the windows because I feed the birds right out there and the birds will fly into the windows if there's nothing here. I think it turned out pretty. I'm pretty happy with it. I think it looks a lot lighter and brighter for spring. I wish y'all could see it when the twinkle lights are on in the evening, but it just becomes too dark in here. All right, you guys. <laughs> Happy spring cleaning. Spring's coming. Love and light. Blessed be.